Shalom. Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth to rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiyam and to the Akwaf, I'll be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this is an in transit, and Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. So this lesson today is going to be uh, entitled... The line is drawn. Make a decision. Okay? The line is drawn. Make a decision. So, yeah, the line is drawn in the sand, man. You see? You're going to have to make a decision, man. Okay? Clearly, you see, uh, the world is deteriorating, man. Okay? The world is being squeezed. Okay? By these Satanists, man. Okay? Alright? By the wicked. You see? Scripture tell you how the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Alright? Scripture tell you how when the Lord said, uh, the prince of this world cometh and who have nothing in him. Alright? Speaking of Esau, the wicked man, who, who, who's, who's running things. Turn all things upside down, man. You see? Right? Even our Lord testify, testify uh, 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 of how everything is set evil, man. St. John the seven, uh, seven chapter and the seven verse. You know? But guess what? The Lord, the Lord uh, 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 seeketh such of our people. To, 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 to worship him in truth and in sincerity, man. Come up out of this world. That's why the scripture tell you, uh, 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 what's that? First John 2, 15, to, 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 to be not of this world, man. Be not conformed to this world, man. You see? You got to come up out of this in your mind, man. You got to you gotta be renewed in the mind. You see? Romans uh, 12 and 2. You see? So the line is drawn in the sign. You can see all the wickedness and the perverseness was being pushed in the world, man. You know? They try to push these, 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 uh, you know? Alphabet letters all about on people. You know what I'm saying? They're just pushing pure perverseness. Do what you want. Do what you will. YOLO. All of that. Well, guess what? We live in a time of judgment, man. And we live in a time where, uh, the line is drawn, man. Drawn in the sand. You're going to have to make a decision, man. You're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to serve the Lord. <laughs> okay? Or you're going to serve uh, uh, the spiritual demon Satan, man. You see? At the end of the day, you're going to have to make a decision, man. You see? So let's get into the... Uh, let's get into some scriptures. This is the book of Joshua, the 24th chapter, I'm going to start at verse 14, it says, Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. Verse 15, it says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. So you're going to have to make a decision, man. You're going to have to choose who you're going to serve, man. And the scripture tells you that you cannot eat of the table of the Lord and the table of devils, man. So you're going to have to choose. There's no gray areas. Okay? It's either or, man. It's the Lord and righteousness or, or Satan and wickedness, man. But you're going to have to choose because that line is drawn in the sign, man. It says, and if it seem evil unto you, verse 15, Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, 
choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood or the God of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh, okay? For me and my house, we're going we gonna to serve the Lord, man. All right? You see? That's my, de that's my decision. I choose to serve the Lord, man, to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You see? So you're going to have to make a decision, man. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, this word is precious, man. And you have to get it while you can. Get it while you're at liberty, too. Okay? Because you're going to need teachers. You're going to need somebody to teach you. Okay? So, once again, before the famine of the word comes in, the scripture speaks about the famine of the word. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. There's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to get this. It's going to be a time where the prophet's uh, tongue is going to cleave to the roof of their mouth. And they're not going to be no longer a reprover. They won't be able to teach you this word, man. Okay? When, when shit hit the fan. So you got to get it now. You see? Because it's precious. So you have to obtain it while you can, man. You see? But um, let me see if I can grab that real quick. Uh, I think it's 2 Samuel. Or 1 Samuel. This is 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 3. And verse 1 it says, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Okay, the word of the Lord was precious then, and the word of the Lord is precious now. You see, no new thing under the sun. It says, There was no open vision. The point is, this word is precious. The scripture tells you, Psalms 119 and verse 9, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto thy word, man. That word heed, when you go into it, it means paying attention. Attention to. Okay? Take heed of the word, man. That's how you're able to be cleansed through the spirit. You see? The scripture tells you that St. John chapter 6 and verse 63, it is the spirit that, uh, that quickeneth, man, meaning to make alive. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. So you got to come to this book. Come to the Lord. Okay? The spirit of the Lord is in this book, man. Okay, so you got to come to the light, man. Come to Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's the life, the truth, and the way. You see? So, this word is precious. You got to get it while you can. But the line is drawn in the sand. You got to make a decision, man. You see? Um, let's go to the book of Psalm. Let's get the book. Let's go to the Psalms. Um, bear with me. I'm turning real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Once again, this is an, an in transit. Psalms 100 and, uh, 130. And that's a spirit because one of the brothers posts, uh, posts a part of this passage inside the chat group last night. And was able to inspire me too, the brother of war. Uh, Psalms 130. Um, it's a short passage, it's about eight verses I'll read through and get some precepts This is um, a song of degrees Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Yahweh Lord, hear my voice Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications And when you go into supplication, it means literally crying and begging, man It says, verse 3, this is one of the points It says, if thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities O Lord, who shall stand? Okay, so if the law was to mark transgression and sin, iniquities, because iniquity is sin upon sin. If the law was to mark iniquities, who would stand? That's, that's, that's what's being said here. Who would stand? And so this is why we tell you to, to repent. Seek the Lord, because why? You have to make a decision, man. The line is drawn, so you've got to make a decision. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to the, the book of Acts. All right? This is the book of Acts, chapter 3. Verse 19 is the point, but I'll, re I'll start at verse 18. Okay? It says, But those things which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Mashiach should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So the Lord came and, and, and was, was, was that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin for the nation of Israel. Okay? You see? And the Lord is not going to go up on the cross again for somebody who don't want to get right, for somebody who don't, don't want to repent. 
Okay, he only did that. That that only was supposed to be done one time. You see? The law was that sacrificial lamb. You see? And that's why we tell you, he already shed his blood for the nation of Israel. So now you're supposed to use that to repent. You know what I'm saying? To repent, turn back to the Lord. You see? But if you don't do so, there is going to be a judgment. Okay? For not adhering to the words of the Lord. The Lord went on that cross to give remission of sins for the nation of Israel. So salvation is open unto you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? This is this is for you, man. You see? So you gotta you gotta make uh use of it, man. Acts 3 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. That's why he brought the scripture out. That your sins, because you want your we just read uh uh uh, uh Psalms 130. We're going back to it. And, and verse 3, where it says, if the, if, the, if the Lord should have marked iniquity, who would stand? So we're saying right here, Acts 3, 19, Repent ye therefore and be converted, changed, change of mind, brainwashed, if you will, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the point is to have your transgressions blotted out, man. Okay, because if, if the Lord was to count it, who, who would stand? You see, so you need this, and this is why we tell you the line is drawn, so you got to make a decision, man, before it's too late. You see? Let's go back to the book of Psalms, get another precept. Let's go to uh, Psalms chapter 32. This is Psalms, the book of Psalms, chapter 32, I start at verse 1. It says, a psalm of David Miskell. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man who, unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity. Okay? You see? Imputed not iniquity, meaning seeking the Lord, man. Scriptures say, <laughs> uh, 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 you, 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 those that serve the Lord are justified of Him, man. When you read in the book of um, uh, Romans, the eighth chapter, man. Okay, it says, in whose spirit there is no guile. Okay, let me see if I can grab that real quick. I'm running out of time here. I got to go inside. I reached, I uh, reached my destination. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can grab it real quick in, the, in Hebrews, Hebrews, the eighth chapter. Let's edify that point. Hebrews the eighth chapter. Uh, I start at verse twenty-eight. It says, and, "And we know all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are the called according to His purpose. For whom He did foreknew, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son. Right? The elect is predestinated from the foundation of the world to see His salvation. All right. I tell you that in Second Ezra the ninth chapter, beginning at the seven and eight verse. It says." That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. And whom he called, then he also justified. And whom he justified, then he also glorified. What shall we say then to, uh, to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? So the point is to seek the Lord, man. You see? The point is to seek the Lord. He's merciful. Turn back to him. So let's go back to the book of uh, Psalms. We're going to finish out that Psalms 130. We're at the third verse. Okay, so we're going to go to the fourth verse. Psalms 130, verse 4. It says, But there is forgiveness with thee, right, that thou mayest be feared. You see? So, and that's why we say, Seek the Lord and remember the fear of the Lord, man. It's the beginning of wisdom. The scripture tell you, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13, okay, here, let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord, okay, and keep his commandments, which is the whole duty of man, okay? You see? It says, uh, verse 4, But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, in his word do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Least Israel... Let's, let Israel, so like you, let Israel hope in the Lord, for Yahweh there is mercy. For with Yahweh there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. It says, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. That's why we tell you to repent and seek the Lord, man. You see? Seek the Lord. Let's get that. Uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah 55. Let's get that. Isaiah 55. 
uh, verse 6, I'm going to read verse 7. It says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. And we can't stress that enough, man. The Lord will abundantly pardon. So seek the Lord, man. I'm going to get one more. All right? And I'm going to close it out. Remember the line is being drawn, man. Okay? That line is being drawn in the sand. So make your decision, man. Okay, it would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. He's merciful. Okay. Uh Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and save it in time of affliction, man. You see? So, yeah, man, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord said, the only uh, acknowledge that you transgress against him, man. Turn back, O backsliding Israel. Okay, the Lord is waiting for you to, to repent and, and, and consider him, man. You see? But if you don't do it, well, remember it's judgment on the other side of that. Okay, so I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you were edified on to the next one. Shalom.